Well, as we all heard by now, Dr. Boyce Watkins, he's lost his Facebook and his Instagram. And that's where we know that he was making the majority of his money over there because nobody was paying attention to his YouTube channels. That's why he always, you know, he goes after black men. He caters to a lot of things black women do with never calling them out for anything. But this is the thing. A lot of these so-called pro-blacks on YouTube like to cater to women, but they actually have bad relationships with women. And these are the guys that actually, uh, that's actually does women the, the most wrong. Like, you have guys like Brother Polite, Jamal Bryant, Derek Jackson, a whole host of guys. They build this, this woman audience. But these are the guys that are womanizers and do, does all kinds of things. But Dr. Boyce Watkins, he's had issues with Michi X, Paris Milan, Yvette Carnell, Vicki Diller. I mean, just all these different women. And it has things to do with finances. But let's listen to a little bit of what Michi X had to say about him. And then we'll come right back. Dr. Watkins um, just had his Instagram and his Facebook banned. They gone. His Facebook page is gone. His Instagram page is gone. And I just want to say karma. I'm just going to say karma. That's, that's the word for the day. Karma. <laughs> right? So... I think that this is very poetic justice. I think that it is very fitting that Dr. Watkins is in this situation. I had some of you stupid people come over to my platform on Instagram and even here. Y'all were saying shit like, um, oh, Michi falls out with everybody. Dr. Watkins, Vicki Dillard. She's the problem. Some of y'all sound so stupid. Like, who doesn't know that doc you don't know by now that Dr. Watkins has been running around here stealing from black women their ideas. He stole my domain and all of these things that he does. He owes plenty of women money and he wouldn't pay them. These are all black women. Right. And this is out here everywhere. OK, he's been doing this shit since Yvette Cardell and Cynthia G. Women have been calling him on the shit that he does and not paying them and things of that nature. I just happen to be the woman that put my foot on his neck. I'm just the woman that happened to stand up to him. So as you can see, Michi Fire is lighting a fire under his behind. But she wasn't finished. Michi X had a whole lot more to say about the things that he's done. And she's also she also talked about a woman that was getting evicted from a house. And Boyce owed her over $4,000. And all these different things. And like I said, you see Boyce, he has a problem with people online. He's, he's like a socially awkward dude, man. And like y'all keep letting these dudes come into the community, man, and just getting away with stuff. But let's listen to what else Michi had to say. And let's come right back. I stood up for myself and all those other women because he was trying to shit on everybody. He sat on um, Tosh K. I thought it was real interesting about two weeks ago um, when I saw it. I don't know how long ago it was. I think it was about two weeks ago when they filmed it. That's when I saw it. Um, and he was sitting up there talking about how he cares so much about black women. And she asked him about me, right? And he said, you know, if Michi wanted to call me, I would have a conversation with her. Some people just can't work together. You're right. I would never work with you. You motherfucking, you, you, you a scantless user, right? I would never work with you. So you can get that. You can take that off your lips, right? You're damn sure right about that. I would never work with you again. Um, but it was just amazing how he was like, well, if Michi wanted to call me, I called you, Dr. Watkins. I did. I called you a bunch of times. I even called you on live in front of my audience just to show them that I was calling you. I text you and everything else. You wouldn't respond, sir. And the crazy thing is, as far as much as y'all act like I'm causing a problem with Dr. Watkins, do you know that just a year ago, he just renewed my domain. So he's not willing to give it up. The reason you're going to the real MichiX.com and not MichiX.com is because he stole my domain. While I was working with him, he took my shit. When I just told the man, I'm about to go build me a website for the stuff that I do next week. I go next week and you done bought my domain, but you forgot to tell me and then you never gave it back to me. Dr. Watkins is deserving for all of his platforms to be taken, right? Um, all he does is steal from black women. All he does is take from black women. And y'all got the nerve to come over here and tell me I'm the problem. No, bitch. I'm just the motherfucker that stands up for themselves. You don't get to come bully me, you. See, see, I'm the bully repellent person. See, all these motherfuckers think y'all gonna bully somebody and then you meet little 5-2 Michi and you don't know who you messing with because you don't get to bully me. You don't get to bully me. You damn right you don't get to bully me and I'm gonna keep my foot on your neck. So at the end of the day, I just think it's very fitting, y'all. Dr. Watkins has lost over a million subscribers. I want y'all to know that this is karma. Y'all don't never get away with shit and you should watch who you fuck with because sometimes the karma that you do 
for to other people that's coming to you, you can die and that karma waiting for you in the next life. Y'all should watch who you fuck with and who you put your hands on because you don't know who everybody is in the spirit, baby. So you better be careful, okay? Um, I will say this. I remember for people who somebody said, I don't even remember who it was. I was watching somebody video finding out about Dr. Watkins. They said they they don't think he deserves to lose his income and his platforms and they hope that he gets them back. Well, I hope he never gets them back. I remember one of the last women's stories that said something about Dr. Watkins. And I believe her name was Dolores. Dolores had worked for Dr. Watkins for several years. She considered Dr. Watkins a friend of hers, not just somebody she worked for. And during the beginning of COVID, right, it hit. Everybody was struggling with money and finances. This woman broke her foot. Her foot was in a cast. She needed money to buy her crutches, which she could not afford. She was getting ready to be evicted because she was waiting on her paycheck from Dr. Watkins. He owed her over $4,000. She made a video about it, which she later took down. And my day one's probably remember that so he let Dolores get evicted he let a black woman with a broken foot not even be able to forecast she had worked for him for many years had given her all to help him build the platforms that he had and he straight up gave this woman his ass to kiss she tried to call the man he blocked her she tried to say things on the platforms the very platforms that she worked on and would work to make videos and he would put the videos on those platforms he blocked her off of all of them so she could say nothing to him I hope that Dr. Watkins loses a whole lot of his income. Those were his biggest platforms. His YouTubes, they got a couple hundred thousand, but nobody watches that shit. It's 2,000 views here, 3,000 views there. Nobody's watching that shit. His most biggest and lucrative platforms were Instagram and Facebook, and I'm glad they're gone. I hope that he never fucking gets them back. That shit is called karma. Y'all should stop fucking with people. You think because time passed, you get away with stuff? You think you get to rob all these black women, put them in bad positions? financially and then you and your fucking wife get to live it up god said no baby that don't work that's why your shit is gone dr watkins in, in, in my d'angelo voice i just want to know how does it feel now as you can see michi x is going in on him hard body and she's talking about how he stole her domain while she was working with him she was giving him telling him uh, sharing with him ideas of things that she actually wanted to do in the future. And he was just listening to it, soaking it all up. And then he took her 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 ideas and took her domain and took it. Never gave her back her domain. That's why she had to start a, start a channel with the real Michi X, not Michi X, because he owns it. He never gave it back to her. But then he comes on here and he wants to hold black men accountable for how they talk about women. But why you won't give that woman back her domain? I mean, you had issues with Paris Milan. She had to stop messing with you. Why? We already know your battles with Yvette Carnell and the things, the nasty things that she said about you. So there's no women online coming online saying nasty things about me. There's, there's a lot of men online that you talk about. There's no women coming online saying nasty things about them. But it's you, boys. And this is why I don't like you because you're phony. You're fake. You claim to be a pro-black and for black women and for the black community, but you got these black women on there saying that you're not treating them right financially. You're not responding to it. You're not responding back to them. You're not showing any receipts. But these dudes, a lot of these dudes come in the name of pro-black and for the people, but they be pieces of crap. And this is why, this is why I don't like him. Because the thing is, it's brothers like him. Like again, brother polite. You see what he's going through in the media. You see what he's been accused of, right? And these guys, they come on here and they get this big, big women following. And then when we call it out, sometimes people even call brothers like me jealous. No, I'm not jealous. I'm just on the sideline watching. We trying to do a good thing over here. And we watching these charlatans come in and get all the attention. Jamal Bryant, he's, he's preaching the word of so-called supposed to be preaching the word of God. And he get a woman pregnant every year. But then still have a large following. It's unbelievable. I mean, I mean, how, how much more could Pastor Jamal Bryan do? But then you get Derek Jackson. And he come, he come, oh my God. Telling women what they want to hear. Most of these women knew he was telling them what they want to hear. But because of his aesthetics and what he looked like, y'all was just waiting in line to get your next turn for some dick. You didn't give a damn about his wife. This is the stuff. Th these are the men. These are the type of men that's able to come into the community and get the attention of women and then take advantage of women. And so boys, boys Watkins, he fits right into that category with all these men. All these same men because he got women complaining about him. 
it's 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 just sad. It's just sad how our community, how our community just allow these charlatans to come in. And we we remember that scandal he got caught up in with that finance business thing deal he was trying to do, and the Asian dude called him out. So he comes over in the YouTube space. He likes to go, get a little dirty and say a little sly, slick remarks to try to get some type of attention over to his channel. But you a fraud, man. And you a fraud just like all these other black men that's coming to these these places and these spaces got all the attention of women because we know in the black community, the most loyal, the most loyal in the black community is black women. Everybody know it. Black women will support your stuff, financially support your stuff. So with these dudes, and, and nobody can tell me I'm wrong, because these dudes like Brother Brother Pomites, the, the Jamal Bryans, this uh Pharaoh, the young Pharaoh, young Pharaoh, all these guys were catered to women because they knew that these women financially support them. But you women run over to these guys that end up hurting you. Real brothers on here that's 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 telling the truth. Uh, 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 trying to trying trying to do right with the children, promote family channels. Y'all don't support none of that shit. You support these dudes and then complain about them when things go wrong. Dudes like Dr. Boyce Watkins and the Derek Jackson, Jamal Bryant should have never had the support of the community, man. Never. But I just gotta call. I just gotta call it out for what it is, man. I just gotta call it out for what it is, but. Man, listen, like, subscribe, and share. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think.